What's up, YouTube? So, today I'm gonna talk to you guys about my eye surgery. As many of you know, I got an eye color change surgery through. <laughs> Louis, can you not dig right now? Mommy's doing a video. Okay, anyway, yeah, so as some of you may know, I got my um, eyes done in India in March 2018. I have naturally brown eyes, and then I got these implants. So it's been a year and a half that I've had them, me and my former roommate, Maria. We went to uh, India together to get them done. I got a lot of hate about them because there's a lot of horror stories about people getting these eyes and then, um, you know, things go bad and stuff like that. So, I knew the risks that I was assuming. You know, I did my research, I did very extensive research on it. I knew people that had them done for years, I've spoken to people. So, I told myself that if I ever feel like something is wrong, like I told myself I would never be one of those people who go blind from the surgery because I told myself that if something ever goes wrong, if I feel any discomfort, I'm just gonna get them out right away. So, the day has come. Okay, everything has been good for about a year. I felt no complications, everything was great. And then around March, I started getting sensitive to light. Uh, <clears throat> so pretty much, you know, I basically can't live without sunglasses and I used to never, I used to never need them. I used to never wear sunglasses before the surgery. Then the sunglasses were a must. I started to have to wear sunglasses all the time. I couldn't look at the sun for a very long time. And even right now, excuse me guys, but the ring light that we have for this video is extremely bright. So I can't look directly at it. That's why I'm looking down a lot. I went to the eye doctor to talk about the light sensitivity. And basically my eye doctor said that the implants are causing some um, irritation. So it's not bad, it's not an infection or anything, you know, it's no, nothing permanent. Basically it's just uh, some inflammation because of the implants, which is causing my eyes to be sensitive. They prescribed me eye drops, which work. So basically I had two options. I could either be on these eye drops for the rest of my life, which is not that bad, but you know, and I would deal with the sensitivity, sensitivity that way, or I could just reverse the surgery. And I picked the latter. I want to go back to my brown eyes because, you know, like I said, I made myself a promise. If I ever feel anything is off with my eyes, I'm gonna go back and take them out. So that's what I'm gonna do. My surgery is on in two days, actually, the day after tomorrow. But here's the thing. <sighs> okay, so in America, because I'm not going back to India, they do their reversal surgery here because it's no longer, so it's covered by insurance and everything because it's no longer cosmetic. It's now um, a medical procedure because it's causing, you know, medical issues. So, yes, yeah, so here's how they do it in America though. They do it one eye at a time. Um, so if you guys know anyone else, uh, <laughs> if you guys know anyone else, like any, uh, like Jonique, uh, Tiny Harris's daughter, who else? There's another girl on Instagram I know that had them done. Basically, those couple of girls that ended up taking them out, they also did it one eye at a time. So that's just how they do it in America. Uh, they operate on one eye, you know, they wait for your one eye to heal four weeks or so, and then they operate on your right eye. It's just like a precaution, because just in case something goes wrong, you have any complications during the surgery, at least you have one good eye that you can see out of. So, I am actually very excited. I've been, I mean, since the summer, it's been really hard working with my insurance, but because they couldn't find an eye doctor for me that would perform the surgery. I've gotten so many referrals with my insurance sent me to this doctor, that doctor, and there's only like two or three doctors in LA that even have heard of the surgery and would do the reversal. So that was the, the complicated thing that took me a while. Cause I mean, I was supposed to get these out in like August, early September, August, but after they found one eye doctor that would do it and then right when my approval went through that eye doctor was no longer working with my insurance one thing after another and me being in law school has kind of been stressing me out too because you know um it would affect me looking at the at the board and the powerpoint presentations and writing and i'm constantly looking at the screen so it like irritates my eyes even more because it's so bright it was kind of freaking me out you know that i was in school i didn't want to be in the middle of finals or in the middle of writing a paper and my eyes are so irritated that i can't look at the computer screen. I'm doing 
the responsible thing. I know so many of you hated the surgery and were sending me all these articles and videos and everyone who got them that ended up going blind and whatever. I, I heard you guys, you know? So I made my own decision based on my experience. Like the girl, my friend Maria, who I got these done with, she's doing completely fine. So like everyone has a different experience, you know? We got them from the same doctor on the same day. We went together. She hasn't had any complications. Her eyes are doing perfectly fine. I know other people who've, got, who've had these implants in for about five years and nothing is wrong with them. So it's just everyone reacts differently to different things, you know, my eyes, they don't, they don't want to accept these implants, I'm guessing, so I just have to take them out. My, my friend is not planning on taking them out anytime soon because she doesn't need to. <laughs> so yeah, that's my story. Again, I, you know, not doing any promotional thing with the company or anything. I'm just giving you my experience the real I had an option I could have just dealt with the problem of since it was just irritation it wasn't glaucoma it wasn't nothing crazy I could have just dealt with it by putting um, anti-inflammatory eye drops in every day but I decided that I don't want to take that route I don't want to risk it anymore since I told myself I was gonna get rid of them if I felt something that's exactly what I'm gonna do so the day after tomorrow I'm doing my left eye first and then in about four weeks once it heals or so, they're gonna operate on my right eye. And this light is really starting to get to me. Of course, of course when I wanna do this video is when the, uh, the light decides to be really bright. But anyway, so that's my story. You know, I know you guys, some of you have been dying for me to get these out. So it's happening. I'm actually really excited because you know, I, my family's very excited too. My mom and my aunts and everybody hated these because they just thought that my natural eyes were so much prettier on me and they made my eyes, um, I mean, the rest of my face pop more. So I've been looking at some of my old pictures and I actually really miss my brown eyes too. So yes, that's my story. Thank you for listening. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna vlog the day of my surgery. So stay tuned for that as well. And I'm going to give you guys any updates and do another video as soon as my surgery is done. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited that I'm getting them out? Let me know in the comments down below. Turn on your post notifications because you don't want to miss the update of me looking crazy for four weeks with one brown eye and one blue eye. Okay, guys. Love you.